Staying with Chennai, a few years back we saw the iconic Dasa Prakash Hotel bought out by a developer. Now more and more unused studios, theatres and hotels which are in the centre of the city and have been Chennai's landmarks are being converted into high rises. This gives the home buyers a new range of excellent housing options in prime locations. But it also means a changing skyline for the cultural capital of South India. Smita TK captures this trend. Shalin Shah remembers walking to the Dasa Prakash Hotel every Sunday for a crisp masala dosa and a vanilla ice cream. Today, he looks at this iconic hotel filled with his childhood memories, transformed into the Prince Courtyard, his new home. Like Dasa Prakash Hotel, many landmarks in the city are being converted into high rises, opening up excellent housing options to home buyers. One is, of course, uh, being a very prime and a luxury project. Uh, project. Number two, it's purely value for money. Look, the amenities what they give you, so it's really worth. Third, very important part is in today's life, the safety and security is very important. They have provided total safety and security to the building. Large land parcels of 1.5 to 2 acres are opening up. Hot properties like production houses, ABM Prasad Studios, hotels Dasa Prakash, Breeze, Atlantic, and theatres like Jayanti are now seeing great value. Owing to the prime location, high land costs and proximity to the central business district, developers are converting them into premium and luxury homes. What has happened is, over a period of years, the land prices have shot up very well. So what, it ha what happens is the owners start thinking, is it really viable to do my continuous, continuing my 30-year or 40-year-old business in a property where the land prices have gone so high? So it becomes more lucrative for them when they you know, decide upon selling out that asset. Currently, the luxury segment is sitting on an inventory overhang of 28 to 30 months. And these redevelopments are adding to the pile. But experts believe the location and amenities will definitely bring in sales. Industry sources say some of the completed projects and those nearing completion are already seeing 40 to 70 percent bookings. So if you look at um, uh, developments inside CBD, you will not find many. Simple reason, the dearth of quality space and the cost of uh, land. So all these are reasons where you don't find MSBs in the, uh, particularly inside the uh, CBD of uh, Chennai. With these kind of developments, I think you open out uh, much more uh, supply into the market and uh, the moment it, the location is good and the ticket size is good, there are buyers, there is enough demand. If you are looking at buying a luxury home in Chennai, these new residential complexes could be a smart deal. Available in prime areas, Nungambakam, Egmore, Alvarpet, Adyar, are projects like Atlantic by Seabros, the Goodwood Residence and Jayanti Residencies by Olympia, Breeze Residencies by BBCL. Homes range from 2 crores to 8 crores. Iconic landmarks in Chennai are giving way to affordable luxury housing in the heart of the city. Experts believe these homes could see a lot of interest thanks to its connectivity, access to entertainment hotspots, healthcare centres and commercial complexes. In Chennai, with camera person Zedwin and Anand, Smitha TK for NDT.